Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you find yourself using the new Bing search with the chatbot ChatGPT on a regular basis, you may know as shown that you have to go through a couple of steps to access the service. Now, if you do find yourself using the new Bing chat regularly, you may want to create for yourself a desktop PWA or progressive web app, as it's also known, just to make accessing the new Bing a lot simpler and quicker using Windows, because as an example, that means then you can pin the app to your taskbar, your desktop, or your start menu just to gain quicker access and make that um, and make accessing the new Bing a lot simpler and quicker using Windows. Now, um, in case you're unaware, uh, to create a web app, um, which will behave very similar to a native app installed on your system, um, you must first of all open up the new Bing chat. And then once you've done that, um, in case you're unaware, just head up to the menu in the top right, and then head down and navigate to apps. And here you will see in the flyout for apps, it says install this site as an app. And all you do is click on that. And then in the drop down flyout, click again on install. Give that a second or two and you will see that has in, that has installed now the new Bing chat as a desktop PWA acting very similar to a native app using Windows. And we can see in that installation, it's given us a couple of options. Allow this app to pin to taskbar, start. You can create a desktop shortcut and you can also auto start on device login, which may be handy if you do find yourself wanting to access the new Bing as soon as you start up your Windows operating system. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click with, I'm just going to stay with the defaults, pin to taskbar, pin to start. And then once you've selected your options, you click on allow. And yeah, you will see if I X out of the app and I actually minimize edge, you can see it's pinned a Bing AR, Bing artificial intelligence search to my taskbar and there the app acts very similar to a native app using windows which may be handy and gives you direct access now to the new bing and as mentioned if we head to my start the same applies and you may also be interested to know in case you didn't know that um, if we head over to the settings using windows 10 and windows 11 navigate to apps and click on installed apps it will also be listed uh, under your installed apps as being AR search. And yeah, you've got all the normal options you will have for any native app installed on your system. You can navigate to advanced options and you can even uninstall the app if it's no longer required. And another way you can uninstall um, uh, the uh, Bing app, progressive web app, once you've created that app, uh, is just to head back to the Edge web browser. And if it's no longer needed, you can also just navigate back to the menu in the top right. Once again, head over to apps, and this time we head in the flyout to manage apps. And yeah, we can actually, once again, click on the menu and you can, you've got those other options and you can also uninstall the app directly from the Edge web browser. So just letting you know that you can create your own PWA progressive web app if you are using the new Bing chat on a regular basis and would just like quicker and simpler access to the feature, just making it a lot um, more simpler to use the feature like any normal native app on your Windows operating system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.